I mean, I just put in butter and cream cheese, which I'm mushing together. We have to make the dirt. We're gonna use Oreos. So just dump the cookie without the paper yeah. into the ah, food the processor whole, the whole, uh, thing, except one. And then just grind it up, right? Yeah. Okay. And that makes beautiful dark brown dirt. But you really need a food processor for this. You, oh, you have to do the food processor. You could make the whole thing in the food processor if you wanted. You have to really get it smooth like dirt, right? Yeah. Good, dirt. dark, black, loamy dirt. There it is. Yep, perfect. perfect. Okay. Now, what if I make mine in a food processor? Can I do it? You have to take the dirt out first. Yeah, we, yeah I will. Yeah. So you really need, what, two whole packages of Oreos? Well, if you're making it for as many people as we are, we're making it for 12 to 15 people. Okay, so this since is we're even a, lot a of very for... big cake. Yeah. Now, you have one and a half... Sticks of cream cheese right. and three quarters There's of a butter. stick it's of It's better if it's butter. soft. If, yeah. I mean, I'm mixing mine, so. Room temperature. In case you don't have a food processor. We are decided today to do some really big pots. And this one is um, a terracotta pot, but warning, if you buy a terracotta pot like that, you must sterilize it in the oven, place it in a 350 degree oven for two to three hours. Also, wash it out with hot water. Don't use any terracotta pots that have a glaze. Now, this is a really cute idea. The this, sand bucket. Yeah. And you can put this in the dishwasher so you can just reuse it. Okay, so mine's all creamed, nice okay. and smooth. Good, now you can put in your pudding. This is instant jello chocolate pudding. Four packages? Oh, for this big cake. Okay. Yeah, for this big cake. You know, there's a hole in the, in the bowl. Yeah, I know. So you can't put milk above the hole. I just poured my milk in. You make instant pudding. It's not that hard. Four and three quarters cups of whole milk. So I'm just going to transfer this now. I'm pouring mine into my cream cheese and butter. So this is a very creamy cake, isn't it? It's pudding. Yeah, it's a pudding yeah. cake. Now, after you mix, I'm gonna put Cool Whip in mine. Don't have a heart attack. Can I use just whipped cream? You're in mine? using whipped cream in yours. Okay. Now, why do you like to use Cool Whip? <laughs> well, Martha, it's easy. You know, this is easy cooking. I'm not going out to whip the cream like you are. Okay. So this gets folded in. Right. And then you're gonna take your flower pot, and you're gonna alternate dirt, pudding, oh, dirt. Oh, so it's oh, it's layered. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hide in mine fun things. I'm going to oh. hide frogs and worms and things in mine. And that's why I saved the cookie, right? To cover right. the to... hole in the flower pot. So it doesn't fall through. Now, dirt first? Dirt first. Kids love this. It's actually quite charming, Jane. Okay, this is all. So just drop the pudding mixture. Right on top. I'm going to take the dirt and layer it in my bucket. Just drop so it So you in. can put as many layers as you feel like, right? Oh. Yeah. Don't forget your objet. I like the rocks. Okay. These are candies that look just like rocks. You're going to hide the worms and the frogs. And then the kids, they love searching for the worms and things. I'm putting my worms on. I'm doing my finishing touches because I'm going to have to show you how to do yours. And I'm patting my dirt down. The recipe says that you have to chill for at least four hours or overnight before serving so that you can actually really scoop it out with an ice cream scoop. Is that how you would serve it? No, you're going to serve yours with oh, this. Oh, a real scoop. Yeah, a scooper. Jane, look at your hands, show your hands. Jane has been gardening. She is quite a mess. Oh, I love that. Now yeah. you use it for your birthday it's party. Cute. Well, here, wipe the edges. Okay. You know me. Yeah, well, Miss Tidy Bowl. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna go right here, like that. Sunflowers are totally edible, and so you don't have to really wrap the stems in anything. You can actually insert. Doesn't that make a nice centerpiece for a so table? So cute, where are the gloves? Here they are. Oh, great. See how cute those little polka dot gloves look uh, on there? These are little everyday gloves from Kmart. I know, so you can get that scoop. Yep. And so you shovel it out with a shovel or a scoop. Jane Heller's Dirt Cake.